Hello everybody, welcome back to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. You're watching the New Boston YouTube channel, and I'm your host, Buddy Blackford. In uh, this tutorial that we're going to work on, we're going to keep on continuing our uh, color keys, and we're going to go over a technique called a linear color key. And that's just an effect that um, is used uh, in like a preferred method. It's kind of like the color range color key that I went over last tutorial. So let's go ahead and check that out. Um, on here I've just got some video footage of this uh, AK on a uh, AK-47, I think it is. You correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what it is. On a green screen background mm -hmm. that I put a garbage mask around to just uh, so we don't have to key out everything. So <clears throat> we're going to start by adding the effect a linear color key. So um, let's add that. Effect, keying, linear color key. Now what we got here is um, it's going to show us the different previews here of what it was before and what it is after. So we're going to key out this, color, this green color by using the dropper first and it works just like the color range where I can uh, start uh, getting out these uh, this fuzziness and softness and all that stuff by using this uh, matching softness and um, we can also add to the different greens that we want to take out by using the um, plus and minus droppers on here so if we check out our alpha now there's probably some um, alpha is still showing through. And we got most of it. There's only a little bit down there of the, of green, so let's try to get that out. So that's out now. And you see how I did that by going to the alpha down here and just finding where it's black and white so I can see it better and just taking that out. Let's go back to RGB and uh, we still got the green around the edges that we can uh, try to get out by using uh, tolerance and uh, softness and things like that so the preferred method to use this type of keying is to um, get in close with the keyer and then use the uh, same color key again to put back in uh, colors that we might have taken out so let me just try to take out some more color here take out some more uh, green we got that that was pretty nice and some of that some green around the edges here Let's see if we can get these and that one I took out too much zoom right in there and now um, we want to come in let me check the alpha real quick and see what it looks like uh, if it's yeah, it looks like we took out some too much. So let's just go back in. Um, let's apply the uh, color key, linear color key again. Keying. I'm just right clicking to bring this up. Linear color key. And uh, what we do this time is come down to key operation and we change it to keep colors. And we click on the colors that we want to bring back in. So, like maybe this black. Maybe that was not good enough. There. Let's, let's try this. There we go. That's a little better. Let's go into our alpha and see what's not in there very well. So let's tr uh, do this again. On your color key. And uh, let's try this. No, oh, and we want to change it to keep colors. <clears throat> Every time I try to get the black out, some more of this green comes in. So that's not what we want there. Go to keep again. Turn this off real quick so we can figure out what we want. See if this works. I'm yeah, bringing in some of that, too much of that green. So <clears throat> we'll just keep uh, what we had before with that brown. So we got that going on for us. <clears throat> Go into the RGB and take a look at it. Um, Alright. 
we can toss on our spill suppressor here and pick the green now we uh, have our spill suppressor on there and that all will all work out and help out and uh, now we got uh, somewhat of a decent key going on here so uh, that's the how you use the uh, linear color key so that's uh, pretty nice and it gets the job done let's move it around and see if how, how decent it looks so yeah there we go it's looking uh, fairly good so that that's how you use the uh, linear color key now when you're working with your color keys you want to uh, work on them a little more than five minutes like I was just doing you want to put some time and effort into them and make them really nice and uh, this you can see that there's some uh, green in there in his hand um, that's gonna be hard to get get out but you should um, try to do it and I'll go ahead after this tutorial after I get done doing the different keyers and show you a technique that we can uh, use to help out with that so keep on watching and um, subscribe if you want to keep up with the tutorials and see how uh, we're gonna figure out how to uh, refine these mats and refine these uh, color keys so see you guys later and keep on watching goodbye